One of the things that the prophetic word does is that it brings correction and restoration. Yes, it is true that prophecy brings edification, exhortation, and comfort, but also it is true that the prophetic word brings correction because God knows our heart. Uh, no matter what uh, we go through, no matter what we have done and how skillfully we camouflage it, God, God knows our heart. And we see this in the life of King David. Now, King David, he, he had everything. Uh, but he still went after another another man's wife. And we read about that, that he committed adultery with Bathsheba. Not only did he commit adultery, but he had her husband killed in battle. So it was very manipulative and he schemed everything and he, he, and he thought he had covered his tracks. But nothing can be hidden from God. And God sends the prophet Nathan to go and speak to King David. And Nathan comes and he, and, he, and he narrates this story about a rich man and the poor man and the poor man having just uh, one lamb and then the rich man taking that, even that away uh, from him. And King David is so angry and he says, how can this happen in my kingdom and, and show me who's this person? And Nathan says, oh king, it is you. And when King David hears that word, he is convinced, he's convicted and he repents. So uh, God's prophetic word brings correction and it comes with this intent to restore us. Now David repented and we see in Psalm 51 when he talks about you know how he repents and he says you know cast me not away from your presence O God and and so on and it's a beautiful psalm and we see that he is restored he's brought back so the prophetic word does that. The, uh, the word of prophecy also brings correction repentance and turning to God and uh, when we read John chapter 4 the Lord Jesus he meets with the woman at the well the Samaritan woman and and he has this conversation with her and he says go call your husband and uh, the, the lady says no uh, I don't have a, I don't have a husband and, and the Lord says yes it's true that you know you, you've been married before so many times and the person with whom you're living right now is is not your husband and and it totally exposes her life, um, but with the intent of again bringing in correction, with the intent of restoring her. So when she realizes that, uh, she goes and she brings an entire village and she says, you know, here come and meet a man who, who told me about everything about my life. He knows everything about me. And that's the, that's the power of the prophetic word, uh, the word, which brings in conviction, which brings repentance and, and a turning to God. And this woman just, she, she, it, it's as if she becomes an evangelist. You know, in that instant, he, he, she goes and brings an entire village and say, come, you need to meet Jesus. You need to meet this person. And, uh, and such a far cry from the person that she was. You know, she didn't want to meet anyone. She came at a time when there was no one at the well and to draw water. So God's word, the God's prophetic word brings in correction, brings repentance and a, change, and a changing of heart. And God's prophetic word is always redemptive and that's, that is something that he can, we can be sure of. We don't have to be afraid of our God who is a redemptive God and who loves us uh, more than any other human being. So let's pray and uh, let's give ourselves completely to God and let's invite the prophetic in our lives. Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this day. We thank you that your word brings restoration, that your word brings correction, and your word, O oh God, brings conviction and repentance, Lord. We thank you for your word. And if not for your word, where would we be, Lord? We thank you that your word draws us back. And we thank you for the gift of prophecy. We pray, God, that we will be ever so sensitive to receive your prophetic word. And also, God, that we will not be just hearers of your word, but we will be doers of your word. That we will minister your word with love and grace. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.